You're welcome back. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Time now to know who our personality for today is. And we are talking to the British High Commissioner to Ghana, Her Excellency Harriet Thompson. Your Excellency, you're welcome to Breakfast Daily. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. You look beautiful. Oh, that's kind. Thank you. Right, so welcome to Ghana. Thank you very much. How is Ghana treating you? Oh, very well. I'm really enjoying myself here. It's lovely to be here. Thank I'm you. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Have you eaten any Ghanaian meals yet? Yeah, lots of jollof rice, oh, lots of kelewele. Yeah. Kelewele is my favorite. Okay. I like red red a lot. Yeah, so yeah, we're enjoying the food. Well, well, so right now, you know, jollof rice is an international meal because everyone who comes here, um, I think jollof rice is becoming more popular than even Ghana itself. So that is <laughs> it's <laughs> it's well I'm glad. Known, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying it. But and COVID, you know, how have you dealt with COVID? So it's been an interesting time for all of us, hasn't mm -hmm. it? Uh, with um, people being separated from their families, not able to travel, people being working from home, not able to see their friends. It's been a really difficult time for yeah, lots of yeah, people. Yeah. Know. You know, for us here, um, we were a bit worried when there was a list out that Ghanaians can be in. I mean, the, the people were kind of confused. Is it that we are not going to England? Is it that um, when we go there, our vaccine cards will not be recognized? But mm -hmm. you made a certain announcement. We have that video. So um, we will play the video, you know, and uh, maybe later on. But just tell us a bit more. What exactly is the communication? Yeah, so for a long time, there have been countries on a red list, countries okay. on an amber list, countries on a green list, which set out the different rules according to what variants were present in different countries, rate of infection in different countries. And depending on all of that, there were different rules for people coming into the UK. Mm. We're really, really keen to open up international travel as quickly as possible, but also safely. So we're changing all of the rules. Okay. So now there's no amber and green list. There's a red list. Okay. And then there's the rest of the world. Okay. And as of Monday, announced yesterday, there will be no African countries at all on that red list. Fantastic. And then for those countries whose, um, whose visitors are able to enter the UK, mm. Um, there, is, there are big changes to the vaccine certification schemes and what that means for people coming in. So again, as of Monday, the, the vaccine certificates issued in Ghana when you get vaccinated will be recognised by the UK system, which okay. means no self-isolation, it means no pre-departure test, it means no day eight test, so much, much easier for yeah. travellers from Ghana to get to the UK. I'm excited about this, so at I'm least now we can, we can just visit, you know. Yeah, like yeah. it used that, to that, be. That, yeah. That's great, that's yeah. great to know. So, well, if we're thinking of, you know, visiting the UK and we're worried that you probably have to be isolating for about 10 days or five days or eight days now that is not the issue so once you are vaccinated but make sure you have been vaccinated so once so for people who have not had vaccination what happens so people who haven't had vaccines it's the same rules as before so you would need to do a pre-departure test mm. you then need to isolate for 10 days on arrival you can do test to release after five um, but unless you do that it's 10 days self-isolation which obviously adds a lot of uh, complicating factors to a trip mm. Mm. right so um, this is welcoming news you know for Ghanaians and I'm sure all the other countries who no longer have to go through all these protocols now thank you very much but you we were talking about Ghanaian foods you know mm -hmm. and how Ghana is treating you but let's open up the conversation to Ghana in general the people the culture and everything how do you find it oh it's lovely it's uh, we've had such a warm welcome since we've arrived uh, we've really yeah, we've just we've been sort of introduced to Ghana in such an enthusiastic way, mm. I suppose. So it's great getting to know about the culture. It's great listening to the music, eating the food. Um, I was lucky enough to uh, make my first official trip outside of Accra. I think it was last week. Okay. I uh, got up to Kumasi and met with the Asantehene. Oh wow! Uh, I visited a couple of places with my family as well. So really enjoying getting out mm. and exploring. So how different did you find Kumasi from Accra? I come from Kumasi. Ah, okay. Yes. It's a lovely city, really lovely city. Uh, it's got a bit of a different feel to it, mm -hmm. uh, but still a very busy place, loads of business going on, uh, very dynamic. We visited the National Culture Centre, which was fascinating to hear yeah. about the history, because of course the histories of our two countries are so yes. closely entwined. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so great trip, mm. lovely city.
Right. So let's look at um, Ghana and England. You know, you've just mentioned uh, history. We have a long standing one at that. You know, so what are some of the things that you hope to, you know, improve on? Some of the things that you want to do between the two countries? Mm. So I think um, building from where my predecessor left off, the economic relationship between our two countries is really important, particularly now as we're both trying to build back better after the economic impacts of the yeah. pandemic. So our trade relationship stood at around 1.6 billion pounds before okay. uh, COVID. I want to get it back up there and then push forward beyond Great. that as well. Mm. Um, I think there's loads of good stuff that our private companies are doing in Kamasi. Mm. I saw uh, the, the biggest market in West Africa, uh, Kajetia Market, the airport, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, a new hospital, all, these, the, all of these being built by a British company and supported by UK export finance. So there's loads of stuff that we, we, do, we are doing and can mm. be doing more of mm. in the infrastructure sector. Uh, we're supporting on health, not just through the pandemic, but beyond that, strengthening partnerships between Ghanaian institutions and British institutions institutions, uh, our security relationships are very strong, yeah. uh, human development in terms of education as well as health. So it's a really broad, mm. wide relationship and there's lots of strong relationships between UK people, UK institutions and Ghanaian people, Ghanaian institutions. So loads of good stuff for us to build on. Well, we'll look forward to that. You know. but, but I don't know if you have also um, noticed the massive interest you know, um, of Ghanaians say the English Premier League. Oh, I know, yes. Yeah. Uh, and I'm looking forward to watching uh, the Ghanaians play, is it Zimbabwe at the weekend yeah, in Cape Coast? Yeah, tomorrow. Uh -huh, yeah. Are, are you going match. there? Oh, I'm not TV. going, sadly. got colleagues okay. who are going, but yeah, we'll be following it on TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're all looking forward to that as well, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, for our sports, we've had some bit of ups and downs with coaches and stuff like that. And mm. tomorrow is a big game, yeah. going to be a determinant, you know, game for our new coach, uh -huh. Milo. Well, right. I wish the Black Stars all the best. We need it. We need. <laughs> <laughs> we need it more now, more than ever. But but let's look at the English Premier League. You have a favourite? What club do you support? Liverpool is my family team. I'm, I was born into a Liverpool family and then married into a Liverpool family, so I have no choice. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Favorite players in there? Ah, uh, so to be honest, I follow it. Uh, as a bit of a bystander, okay. I leave the active supporting to my husband and my kids. Right, I love Manchester City. Oh, really? Yes, yes, They're yes. They're doing very well again. Yeah, they are, they are. Mm. And I'm praying that they will do better, you know, all in all. But, I'm not but, sure they can do better than last season, can they? Well, they'll be the best. <laughs> <laughs> so are you in Ghana with your whole family? Yes, that's right, yeah. Oh, wow, how are yeah. they enjoying Ghana? Yeah, very much, thank you, very much. Yeah, Great, so how many children do you have? Three of them. Okay, boys, girls. Uh, my eldest is a boy, and then two girls who are two two twins who are girls. So, what what do they say about Ghana? Is it the uh, first time coming here? No, they'd visited before. Okay, um, we'd been on a holiday here before, so they knew a bit about what they were coming into. But they're having a great time. We've been surfing at Kokrobite. Oh, really? Been, been up to Lake Volto and done a bit of climbing up hills and paddleboarding on the lake. So yeah, we're having a great time. I'm sure they are, you know. But you are the first um, female High Commissioner to Ghana. Mm. How does it feel? I mean, it's a great privilege to do this job, full stop. Mm. And to be the first woman in the job just puts that extra bit of icing on the cake. And I'm really keen to use my time here to show to young women and girls, if they set their minds to things, they can do what, whatever they want to do. Mm. Mm. But, you know, I don't know if you've been um, going to cinemas, you know, that also has some restrictions and um, here in Ghana. And um, last night, you know, we premiered the Bond movie. Yeah, you know, we you had about a that? very yeah. special night last night, thanks mm -hmm. to the Great Campaign, which is a campaign through which we show all that is good about the UK. We were able to show the Bond movie last night to mm -hmm. a really distinguished set of guests. So we were lucky to have people. I hope, I hope they had a good evening. I'm sure they did. The film yes, was excellent. Yes, 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 because it's been on social media, you know, people are talking about it. So obviously, people had a great time and we loved it as well. But let's look at tourism in general in Ghana. I think that UK is one nation that has been good, you know, in promoting tourism in making sure that history is preserved mm -hmm. because we have facilities. We have, when you go to the British Library, you find age-old books, you have 
artifacts and stuff like that you know mm -hmm. and you've done awesome in that area as well so i want you to touch about um ghana as well because we also go way back in terms of mm -hmm. um history and stuff like that arts culture stuff now, before we do that we have a video on the bond movie let's take a look at that first Right, so that was excerpts of um, the Bond movie, you know, beautiful stuff there. I love the production, everything about it. Yeah, it was a really, really excellent film and uh, the team put on a great uh, event at the cinema as well. They did a super job. Right, so to my earlier question, you know, on how to promote tourism, you have been here before, you know, you've mentioned the Kukubite staff, there are so many things. You went to Kumase, you know, a very historic and mm. cultural um, city. And, um, but sometimes it looks like the challenge that we have is the packaging, you know, to put it out there. In your opinion, how do we move things around? I think, I mean, obviously there's some great sites in Ghana, uh, sites of natural beauty, sites of cultural heritage, and the, the size of our diaspora as well, I think gives us a really promising base to work from. So people who have family in both countries or even live between both countries who are doing a lot these days to tell um, the wider population in the UK about all of the great things that Ghana's got to offer. Mm. The Ghana Monuments and Museums Board also is doing really good things. Uh, you've got so many UNESCO heritage sites here. So yeah, there's, there's a, lot to, a lot to come and see and do in Ghana. Yeah. Yeah, but, but do you have it in your plans, you know, maybe some collaboration, some kind of exchanges to bring knowledge, share yeah, knowledge? Yeah, I'm stuff. looking forward to meeting with the Minister of Tourism to okay. discuss this and particularly how we can bring the diaspora into the mix. Mm, mm. I look forward to that because I have a support for tourism, you know, uh -huh. yes, and culture. So maybe we can also further our conversation, you yeah. know, look, look at what we can do. Look yes, City that. is also very, you know, the station is very, also very, very keen and very particular in promoting tourism, arts and culture. And mm -hmm. we make it a part, you know, a point to promote stuff like that. But let's look at you, you know. You are doing awesome. You are a wife, you are a mother, and you are doing diplomatic work. And I know how it can be having to travel around, having to move around. How easy is that, you know, just in case other females are watching you and we want to um, be mentored by you from afar? Mm. Uh, so it's not always easy, of course not. Life isn't always easy, but things, good things are worth working for, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's good for my kids to see me out there doing a job like this so that they know that they can do whatever they want so that my daughters know it's normal for women to do this sort of thing and also so that my son sees the same. I don't want to raise a son who thinks that the women are to mm. work in the kitchen and the men are to yeah. go out and earn yeah. the money. Uh, so yeah, I think it's important for them to see to see both sides. I do though make sure that I protect time for them. So weekends, mm. the bar is very high for me to do anything work related. It's mm. a high bar. Weekends mm. is family time. Mm. Great, Your Excellency. I'm sure we can go on and on and on. But we are in the month of October. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. Any quick advice to? the public be aware check your breasts yourselves and get along to your doctor and get them checked as well it's it's perfectly normal thing to do early detection can really save lives so that would be my message Great. Now, before you take leave of us, any final words, you know? Yes. The one thing I must mention is that next month in November, the UK is hosting the UN Climate Change Conference, the COP26. This is one of our last, uh, last 
opportunities to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees, which is a critical threshold. Mm. Ghana is doing some great stuff. They're sending a really high-powered delegation to the COP, led by the president himself. So it will be great to, to see Ghana showing other countries what they can do as well. Right, I'll be looking forward to that as well. Your Excellency, thank you very much.